Diastasis recti often contributes to a lot of pain and dysfunction that we're dealing with on a daily basis and don't even know that it's related to core weakness or core problems. Diastasis, if you remember, is a separation of the abdominal wall. It's where the connective tissue that runs from the top of the, or the bottom of the rib cage to the top of the pubic bone pulls apart and separates, leaving the internal corset muscle in a place where it's ineffective and inactive. So a weak internal corset muscle, separated abdominal wall, combined with poor posture strategies and movement strategies because of this weakened abdominal wall and the poor integrity that the diastasis creates, leads to a slew of problems that most people think are just what everybody deals with. But we're here to tell you that, that just because something is common does not mean it's normal. So low back pain, it's something that everybody thinks is, you know, everybody has low back pain at times. That may be true, but it doesn't necessarily mean it needs to happen. Most often, low back pain is coming from a weak internal corset and can be a result of a diastasis. If you have a diastasis and your abdominal wall is not well supported, your organs can protrude out, putting excessive pressure on your back to try to balance you. As well, a lot of times that corset is completely ineffective, especially when you have a significant diastasis, and that corset is supporting your spine and your organs so that your body can function well. When your spine is not supported, there is excessive mobility that can create disc problems, but also creates a lot of muscles in your back trying to overfire to protect you and to stabilize you. That overfiring creates a chronic, achy, low back pain. Rehabilitating your core and healing the diastasis can drastically improve, if not eliminate, that low back pain, even if you've had it for years. Another common thing is pelvic instability. A lot of times people think their real low back pain is their back when it's actually your sacral iliac joint that is not being stabilized. The transverse abdominus wraps all the way around and connects the entire pelvis together, giving it stability. When you have a separated abdominal wall and a weak corset, that um, cor that pelvis does not have the stability and so it moves back and forth. Your body craves stability, so the muscles of your glutes, your hamstrings, your hip flexors, all of the muscles around your pelvis really try desperately to give you the stability that your corset is not giving you. And while it does that, it can be somewhat effective, but usually it creates kind of a tug of war atmosphere in your pelvis that creates to instability around that SI joint. As we rebuild the corset and reverse the diastasis, that instability becomes less and less and you deal with a lot less pain and a lot less dysfunction. Another issue that people think, a lot of times women think, is pretty common, especially if you've had some children, is to have some pelvic floor weakness. That might present itself in prolapse, where the pelvic organs, the bladder, the uterus, even the rectum, drop down into the vaginal canal, or with some leakage, coughing, sneezing, jumping leakage, those kinds of things where your body cannot hold urine and it leaks in a stress or urge incontinence situation. That is pretty common, it is not normal. So what happens with your core that could be contributing to that is if your core is not connected, the diastasis is pulled apart and your abdominal wall is weak, every time you cough, sneeze, or jump, your stomach bulges out, which also causes some bulging down in your pelvic floor. Your organs aren't supported, so they drop down, making a lot of extra pressure on the sphincters that should be able to control the flow of urine and cannot. The other thing that happens is when this muscle is weak, it messes with the ability to keep our pelvis in a good alignment. When our pelvis is in poor alignment, the pelvic floor muscles do not work effectively. All of this can be connected to core strength and a diastasis. So as we heal those things, pelvic floor symptoms improve dramatically. Mid-back pain, kind of that right between your shoulder blades or right at your bra strap area pain, super common. And a lot of times it's related to a collapsed posture where these muscles are tight and these muscles are weak. When the core is not in a good strong position and you have a separation, everything can kind of drop down. 
when this drops down, there's excessive pressure on the muscles that should be holding your shoulder blades up against your rib cage. When your body is not in the optimal alignment because it doesn't have the strength or the integrity to do so, the imbalance creates a, a screaming in your upper back that is common but not necessarily normal. So as we start to correct your corset and in build this muscle and heal the diastasis, a lot of that mid-back pain can be relieved as well. Constipation, um, very common issue. And sometimes constipation is related to the muscle integrity um, around the intestinal tract. Your muscles around your uh, intestinal tract support the intestines and allow the peristalsis to function more effectively. That combined with using your core in a more effective way for the actual pushing to go to the bathroom can be the, the missing link of what's been happening with some constipation issues. If you do not have an effective um, core strength or you have a separated abdominal wall, both of those have a direct correlation with the ability to empty your bowels and then lead to a chronic um, kind of ripple effect of constipation and poor pushing. And so core rehabilitation and healing a diastasis can improve dramatically constipation issues. And then with pregnancy, a diastasis, a separated abdominal wall, can make an, a major impact on the fetal alignment, the baby's alignment within the uterus. This fetal alignment is what contributes to how we can give birth and push effectively during labor and childbirth. So that alignment also affects back pain during pregnancy and some other issues to help labor progress and get initiated in the first place. So healing this core during pregnancy can make a big difference in the fetal alignment and your birth experience and your birth recovery. So like we've said, common is not always normal. A lot of these common issues that people struggle with all the time can be directly related to a diastasis or a weak core, internal core structure. So what we do is help your body repair the muscle and rebuild it and use it in a functional way that we can give you a pain-free um, and active life without struggling with some of these things that you feel like may be normal and you don't have hope for. We want you to have hope. Look at what we do at thetummyteam.com. We would love to help you live a pain-free, strong life. Thanks so much.